let me undo that on the left side here these aren't too difficult these are your this is your selector your pointer this is what you work with most of the time this allows you to create edit points so you see edit points pop up and you can you can tweak objects just a little bit if you may maybe you find a design that's not to your liking this is where you can go to edit things specifically maybe you make um, a point on something a little bit bigger or you make a dip in a letter or shape a little more defined it's, this is where you would go these are all for drawing for drawing a line a square a square with rounded edges and a circle these are for freehanded drawing this is for you to insert text so you have to do is click on the text button click on the mat and then type your words you can see it pre-filled with something I have selected already and this is your eraser if you decide that you don't want it to cut right there or you want it to dip in, various options. But there's the eraser. If you want it just to erase there and there because you want it attached, that's where you would click. Um, these next icons here are your, oh, there's a knife tool here. This is a little more complicated to use. This requires extra explanation. Now these next icons down here are the ones that people sometimes have a hard time finding when they want to know where their shapes are. This is your drawing area. This one here actually opens your libra library. So if you click it, it'll show you all the shapes that you have available to you on your silhouette. Now the majority of these I did not purchase. They came with my silhouette. So you actually get quite a few for, for free or with your machine. And this last one is the actual Silhouette Studio uh, store. So you can actually buy shapes from Silhouette America. They're 75 cents right now because they're on sale. They're normally 99 cents, but they also have subscription plans where you get so many shapes per month for a certain amount of dollars. I think the plans are um, like 9.99, 14.99 or 19.99, something like that. I can find out for sure if anybody really wants to know, but this is where you purchase shapes and these next two icons here are for you to change kind of how your screen is being viewed you can click on the show library option which shows whatever you're looking at full size or you can click this little split screen icon and it'll show you your store or your library with your drawing mat and this works out really well if you're trying to figure out what will fit in your project um, so that's pretty much it for this side down here, these are just shortcuts of the same stuff that's up in the top right-hand corner. For example, this is a weld button and this is an offset button, just a quick link. And this button down here in the bottom right-hand corner, all it does is change the color of Silhouette Studio. So say you don't like this gray color, you think it's too drab, all you have to do is click this little pretty button down here and it changes the color. So there's you know, a lighter gray, blue, purple, red, pink, orange. I kind of like the orange, but that would get old after a while. Um, lime green, you can change to whatever color you like by clicking this button. I actually prefer it on gray for some reason, maybe because it's less distracting, I don't know. But um, if you have any questions or if there's something you're specifically trying to figure out in Silhouette Studio, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down at the bottom or send me a message through YouTube. And if I know how to do it, I'll be more than happy to show you. Thanks for watching.